हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल्ड ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई टी प्रो रेली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे इज वीडियो इज वैम्प वर्सेज जैम्प सर्वर विच वन इज बेटर सो बेसिकली इन टूडे इज वीडियो वर्ल्ड बी कंपेयरिंग बोथ दी सर्वर एंड वो विल कंक्लूड दैट विच वन इज बेटर दैन अदर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड Before we dive deep into today's main topic there is a strong need that we understand one thing and that is what is a local development server in order to understand this phenomena we must know that how website work and what happens in the background when we visit a particular website well there are two parts of every website one is front end which user or client sees and the other one is the back end which is handled by the server a client can be any device which tries to access a website but whenever a client sends a request to view a website question comes into mind that where does that request go well the answer is the server you can think of a server as a warehouse at a far location where your or any other website along with all of its resources is safely stored there It is important to have some kind of storage space which is accessible where you can host your website and for that you need to rent a space for website hosting however renting this space cost you a lot of money and there are different types of payment plans depending on various factor and those factor can vary and that can be choice of bandwidth traffic capacity etc and once the site goes on to the main server or you can say when it goes live it usually becomes accessible to the general public and people can access that website from anywhere anytime and there can be some security issues bugs or bunch of other problems so whether you are developing a website for a client or you are developing a personal website it does not make sense to spend a huge amount of money for going live over the website which is still under construction or is incomplete or it has not been tested for vulnerabilities bugs and error etc we can get rid of that problem and the solution of that problem is use of a local server by using local server on the same machine which the developer is using to create and access his or her website Local server allows that machine to act as both client and server. We do not even have to be connected to the internet in order to run website. So basically, local server allows you to run your website just like a server and you can have the feel of real server on your local machine and that will help you to sort out the problems, bugs, or vulnerabilities, security issues which might be there potentially. So before going live for the general public you can find out all the problems or you can see the potential problems in your website by using one of these local server Zamp and Wamp are types of local development servers they create the environment of an actual web server so that we can run our website code test it thoroughly and then move with our website on to the deployment stage Before we move on to the comparison of Zamp versus Wamp, I will discuss each of these software products individually. So first of all, let's talk about the Wamp. Wamp is a local development server bundle that offers developers with an opportunity to test their websites locally and solve all the potential problems before going live with them. Well, Wamp itself stand for W stands for Windows, A for Apache, M for MySQL and P for PHP. WAMP was built exclusively for the Windows operating system. If the local machine is running anything other than a Windows operating system, WAMP won't work. WAMP does not offer support for Perl by default as well. You will have to manually configure it if you want to use Perl with WAMP. 
Other than that, WAMP serves the exact same purpose and functions the way ZAP does. When you install WAMP, it automatically installs the Apache server, MySQL database and PHP language on the local machine. You can then continue to set up and configure the local server and test the websites on it. Now let's talk about the XAMPP. Over the years, XAMPP has been defined in many ways. Some say it is an open source software product. XAMPP is a product which we can install and run on our computer. Others call it as a local server or a web server solution. In fact, the task that has been designed for it to perform is acting as an actual web server, but on a local machine. So we can say that all of these definitions hold true. Now, if we talk about the XAMPP abbreviation, X stands for cross-platform, A for Apache, M for MariaDB, P for PHP, and P for Perl. So XAMPP offers more options like we have Perl here, and it is also cross-platform server. Now, let's talk about the similarities between WAMP and XAMPP. It would be safe if we say that there are a lot more similarities than the differences between WAMP and XAMPP. So if we talk about the similarities, these both servers or you can say these both products are open source and free, which means we do not have to pay anything before using any one of them. You just download it and you can start using them. Both of them are designed to help you with the initial environment for setting up the local server on your local machines. Because if we were to set it manually, we would have to download and install various required components individually. But with XAMPP and WAMP, you can automatically install MySQL, PHP, Apache, and some other custom components and services. Website design, development, testing, all these processes become more easier when we use any one of these products and both of these products have easy to use and easy to understand interface using which we can easily configure the different components as we want and when we want. Now let's talk about the differences between these two. XAMPP offers a great and major advantage of compatibility with a variety of operating systems and we can download the XAMPP for Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. On the other hand, WAMP restricts the users as they can only use it on the 32 and 64 bit versions of the Windows. Means we cannot use WAMP on Linux and Mac operating system. Apart from compatibility, XAMPP is smaller in size as compared to WAMP. XAMPP is around 158 megabytes in size and WAMP is around 444 megabytes in size. In terms of installation, XAMPP is easier to install and configure. XAMPP official website also offers a lot of help in terms of support of XAMPP, but in case of WAMP, People have faced a lot of problems, especially when people try to run WAMP on operating system other than Windows. Setup is simple, but problem occurs when solving the missing dependencies in WAMP server. So that was all about some of the similarities and differences between XAMPP and WAMP server. Now let's have a demo of each server. This is the XAMPP server in front of you. And these are the modules which are available in XAMPP. We have Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat. We can start any one of these by just clicking on this button. And here we can configure it. And from here we will have all the information that on which port these modules are working. So you can see here XAMPP has a very simple and easy to understand and easy to use user interface because we will have all the information on our user interface. Here we will have our process IDs and here we will have all the ports at which these services or you can say these modules are running at the moment. So now let's open our WAMP server. To start your WAMP server, just go to your start menu and write WAMP. And here it is, just hit enter and select yes. At the bottom of your screen on the right side in your tray icon, you will see a WAMP server with green icon. Here you can see we have a green icon and it means our WAMP server is running at the moment. 
and all of its services are running. If I right click on it, here we have further more options which are related to WAMP server. If I left click on it and now I will click on localhost. So this is the localhost or you can say this is the default page of our localhost in our WAMP server. And here you can see we have different information here. We have PHP info, we have PHP my admin and then we have our localhost right here. Now again, I'll go here, I will click on it. And here you can see we have a default database management system as MySQL and MariaDB. And here you can see as well, we have MySQL and we have MariaDB. But by default, MySQL is the database in our WAMP server. If you want to change it, that's really simple. Go to your WAMP server again, right click on it, go to your tools and go to your default database management system. Just click on it and what it will do, it will change your default database management system to your Maria database. So this is how easy it is. So that was all about the WAMP and XAMPP server. And now if I were to conclude this, I would say that if you are a new user or if you are a user who works only on Windows, then WAMP server is a better choice for you. But if you are an experienced person or if you are an experienced web developer, and you work on different platforms like you work on Linux, Windows, and even you work on Mac operating system, then XAMPP server is for you because it offers a lot of functionalities. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you have learned something new. And if that is the case, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. It will make sure that you do not miss any future videos from us and it will also motivate us to keep making videos for you. If you have something to ask, please leave a comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.